Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my home. Today's video is all about going thrifting with me to see what I got. So you got to see a little bit of the thrift stores here in New Jersey. I just did a quick snippet of what you can find here. Welcome to all my new friends that are joining me and welcome back to all my regulars. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lynn Wilson and my channel is about simplicities of everyday living. I do homemaking, I do frugal living, and I add a touch of encouragement. That's pretty much what my channel's all about. I'm glad you're joining me. I hope you decide to stick around and consider subscribing. I'd love to have you come on board and join my community. So right now, let's just get into what did I find at the thrift store. So we went to two thrift stores that are south of us. One is about 45 minutes away, but my mom has been itching to get there. And it's very much an old fashioned vintage looking building that it's in. And even the store itself would be something like I would feel like it was in my grandmother's era. Just the way it's laid out and the things you find in there. I don't know, it's very, it's a little different. So we then we went to one a little further up the road and it's a little bit nicer than that one. And then we decided to go up to the Goodwill and so we hit that and then we went to Applebee's and we had a nice steak dinner for our birthday, which was great. We hit the local bakery that's down that way and oh, got some jelly stuffed goodness. And what else did we do? Oh, we hit the Dollar Tree. Went to a new Dollar Tree to me. I think it's a fairly new Dollar Tree. It's still a dollar. It was the one of the biggest Dollar Trees I've ever been to. And let me just tell you, I got to bring my husband back there. I'm in love. But let's forget the Dollar Tree. That'll be an up and coming video. Let me show you what I got at the thrift store. Valentine's Day is coming. This is a cute little quilted something or other. It looks homemade, but you can tell there's a tag that was cut off, so it's not homemade. But it's got a nice black wire here. It's got the little heart on the top. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I'm going to hang this on my what we would, what you would consider, I guess, as my front door, but it's actually my back door that we use all the time. But for a dollar, if it got ruined in the season, I don't really care. I'll tell you one thing I've been doing more and more of is getting things like this for a dollar, whether it's at the Dollar Tree or a thrift shop. And if it lasts the season, Yahoo, we're good. If it looks dirty and dingy, I just get rid of it. For a dollar to me, it is not worth storing unless I'm madly in love with it but I'd rather get a few things I said this before in another video I'd rather spend ten dollars a holiday season get a few tidbits that I can use donate it to the goodwill throw it out if it's beat up not store it so there we go something for my my front door so that's one thing that I purchased this I did get at the goodwill it's just a strainer you might see some water in there. I just washed it and I laid that in there. It was $2.99. But we had some strainers and we had like this three-tier set of strainers and the bottoms wore off and now I only have the big one left. I needed something just a little bit smaller. So $2.99, good deal. It's got the handles for rinsing. I like it. You can stand it up. You can see it's got the feet. So that was $2.99. This, by the way, was $1. I don't know if I said that. And what else did I get? Let's see. Okay, so this I've seen a lot of people who do thrifting haul all the time. And it is Give Us This Day Our Daily Bread. I don't know if there is a story behind it. That's what the back looks like. 
can read that. I don't know. It was $3, but I've seen a lot of people haul these and I don't know, there was something nostalgic about it that every time I'd see them haul it, I wanted it. And I saw one and I heard one lady say, oh, every time she goes to the thrift store, she sees these. If there's a story behind these plates or there's some significance behind it, leave me a comment below. I don't know what that is, but I liked it. It was very nostalgic looking, so I picked that up. And I'm going to be working on what they call a vignette for Valentine's Day. I've never done a vignette. Actually, I'm doing a collaboration. Oh, I forget what the date is on that. I think it might be February 4th or 5th. I'll have to leave you a note on the community page. But my mother gave me this for the vignette. And I like the speckled metal. I don't know. I like the red. I figured Christmas is good. The fall I can use it. I could do it with snowmen and I could do a Valentine's Day. The only thing would be, and I could do red, white, and blue. The only thing would be spring. I'm not so sure, but I didn't want to invest a lot of money and buy one of these two, three tiered vignettes and find out I don't really like doing it. And I like the little circle handle at the top. I think that's kind of adds a little, I don't know, a little design to it. But anyway, I'll be doing a collaboration on decorating my vignette so today I had two things in mind I wanted to buy. I was looking for oil lanterns, very hard to find in our area. They're not commonplace. We're not really in country, so to speak. So people don't have them. Stores don't sell them other than tractor supply. But I was that was on my list and things that I can use for my vignette for Valentine's Day. And what else would we have spring? and Easter, and then moving into patriotic season. So with that being said, I found this cute little doily. I'm so into doilies. I love vintage looking doilies. And that was 50 cents. So I thought that would look quite nice in there. You'll have to stay tuned to see how I actually use all these products and knickknacks and things like that. I found these. I don't know that I would normally have picked these up, but they just intrigued me as two lovebirds for Valentine's Day. And then I thought, you know what? I wanted something that could be multi-purpose. I thought they can go right into springtime because that would be spring. And even during, you know, red, white, and blue, it had the blue on the bird. So I thought I could get a lot of use out of these. And then I thought because of the colors on here, I could go right into the fall. So these could stay up. The red dot, that was 50 cents, very lightweight resin. So that's gonna go on the vignette. Then I found this cute little teapot. This was $1. I love black. I have a lot of black in my house. I don't know if you can, my, well, that's my carry back there and the blackboard, but I have black throughout my house. Just a little tiny, tiny teapot, like teapot for one, for $1. And I loved it. And I thought that might also go nicely with uh, black and red for Valentine's Day. So I think I'm going to use that on the vignette. And then I found this. It's so tiny so 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 tiny look how tiny that is it's just a little easter egg with a bow but i have one of these a little bit bigger that i actually got from my oldest son who is 32 years old his first grade teacher i did something for the class i think i came in and read for the class or something and she gave me one of these and it has a blue bow i loved it i kept it all these years so this too was 50 cents so I thought, how cute would that be to add to the vignette with my other one that I have? So I put that aside. I probably will get like a tote um, box, you know, a big tote, and maybe things that I collect for my vignettes put in there and just have one box that I can put all the different seasons. I'm looking around my house. I have quite a few things that I might pull and put on the vignette and put back. I don't know. Not quite sure. This is all new to me. So I wanted to try it out. And then I saw these Hunter Green, you know, I love green and lace doilies. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to use these yet, but I don't normally see them in green. You usually see them in white and cream and they were, the set was a dollar. So I'm going to wash these up. These look a little, eh. so I'm going to wash them up, dry them flat and we'll use that on something one of my tables or somewhere i'm not quite sure but i really liked them and now what was the one thing i said i was looking for yes an oil lantern you ready for this 
If you're into oil lanterns, I would think you're gonna flip. Look at this, sunflowers, a little watering can. How cute, it's got a little, little uh, bug here. See that, let me turn it around so you can see it. There's my oil lantern. It's got, look how tiny the lantern is. It's got the shade that comes off. Oh, there you go, that's a tiny little lantern. It's got a brand new wick in it. Brand new wick, I'm telling you guys, $4. Look, is that not stinking cute? I am in absolute love. I saw this was on the bottom shelf. It was pushed all the way back. I love, love sunflowers. Next to daisies, that's probably, daisies is my number one favorite. Sunflowers would be next. And I said, oh, what is that? And then I thought it was just a little light. And then I realized it was an oil lantern. Oh my goodness. So there we go, guys. That was my quick thrift shop haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you stick around. Leave me a comment on that tray if you know if there's any significance behind that tray or if it was from a certain error. I don't know, but I hear a lot of people talking about it, but I know nothing about it. So thanks for coming over. We'll catch you all on the next video.